Saggies! Welcome to the first half of December love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Happy birthday, December Saggies! So, tapping into your energy, Sag, I'm just going to jump right into the meditative session, guys. Just, hey, just, let's just go. Let's just do it. Sag, they actually showed me a card, and it, it actually, there was a lot going on with that one card they showed me, and it was from the Shaman deck. So, I'm going to pull it out for you guys. I probably should have done this beforehand. I always do that when they show me a card, and I'm like, oh, should have done that first. Anyway, it's the Beauty Way card. Let me just find it. Mm. God, these cards are so pretty. <laughs> uh, nope. I bet it's at the bottom. It always is. It's funny how that happens, right? It's always at the bottom. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, guess it's not. So, Sag, I thought this was a beautiful card for them to show me for you guys because it just screams saggy, to be honest with you. Some Shit. Hold on. I am Butterfingers lately. It's a little ridiculous. Okay. Saggy. So beauty way with the energy of four about stability. So I love that they showed me this card for you guys because it just screams Sagittarius. It screams optimism. It screams positivity. Uh, the message behind beauty way, there's a lot of messages behind this that I feel like would really are really resonating with your energy right now, Sag. So first and foremost, it's an energy, like I said, of positivity, only seeing the beauty, the beautiful things in every situation and every people, seeing things from a loving perspective from a compassionate perspective and also in doing that you're shedding light on people on situations even on, on your own path here when you shed light you see the truth you see the reality of people and everything around you okay Sag so taking on this energy of beauty way it allows you to be incredible manifestors okay and Sag I feel like this is the first message that I was picking up on just with this one card there's a lot hanging there with me um where you've been working really hard to manifest really great things in your life really positive things in your life and I feel like you're about to reap the rewards of that and it's just a reminder that what got you here what got you into this great way of being what got you into these new opportunities these amazing opportunities is being positive is being of light is being compassionate is being understanding is being optimistic here and being authentic at the end of the day being very genuine and authentic and that's what makes you beautiful it's not about the aesthetics it's not about superficiality all right i think that's how you said that um, is that the right word anyway it's about being authentic and that's where true beauty comes from okay Saj, and you're embodying this for those who are not embodying this it's time to embody this okay it's definitely time Saj, this card also speaks of like i said inauthenticity because it speaks of authenticity it also speaks of the op the opposite of that okay if you're finding yourself in a relationship or a situation or in family scenarios, whatever, with people who are broken, with people who have a lot of healing to do, who might not be vibing as high as you, it's not your responsibility to fix them, okay? And when this came in as I was meditating, it actually, like, it got me a little worked up here, Sag, because I think, I think this actually happened recently in one of the readings I did today. I did a lot of readings today, so I can't remember which one it was, where I got so worked up and agitated. I think it was Aries. Because it's just like the unnecessary, right? The unnecessary shit. Like that's, that is something that is like a deep thing with me. It's like, I get it. It's one of my things. We all got our thing. Anything that's unnecessary is really a kind of upsetting to me sometimes when it comes to relationships, like putting up with unnecessary bullshit, right? Or unnecessarily missing out on something. So with this energy of inauthenticity, some of you have been spending too much time trying to fix people. It's not your job to fix them. It's not your job. You can stand in your beautiful, beautiful way energy, beauty way energy, be positive, be of light, shine authenticity, scream authenticity, scream love, all of that. And if someone can't vibe with you or if someone can't get with the program, then that's on them. Okay? Not on you. It's not you to make them do it. It's not on you to get them on that path. That's on them. Okay? Um, there is also an energy I was picking up, Sag about forcing relationships kind of like forcing what people would think is a beautiful relationship like aesthetically like you know people say like oh those two people go great together those two people look amazing together oh you two should just work it out because you're such a great couple yeah that shit needs to stop <laughs> keep in mind guys it's meditative energy so it's energy that i pick up in and around you so it could be someone in your environment experiencing this or going through these issues or someone that you're connecting to romantically could be experiencing this uh, in regards to you okay so just keep that in mind as well um but like i said you can't force authenticity it that's like isn't that the definition of, of, of authenticity it just is <laughs> it just is it can't be forced 
it's just existing. And if you're in a relationship that's superficial, or if you're connecting to someone who's superficial and inauthentic, it's not up to you to force them into a mold or to force them into an image with you to look a certain way, okay? I do feel sad that for some of you, you're feeling family pressure of that, actually, which I think is really interesting. Um, family pressure or social pressure to be with a certain person because they look a certain way or they act a certain way or they've got a certain something that other people like. This has been a big theme lately in, in some readings I've been doing. Um, yeah, that needs to stop because it's not authentic. And when it comes to love, there's no room for ingenuous anything, right? No room for that. So keep being your badass self, Sag. And if people can't get with the program, they can't get with the program. And that's their fault. That's on them. Not fault, but that's on them. That's their choice. That's their choice. Not, not everyone's meant to follow you, right? Not everyone is meant to stay with... Oh, people are running down the halls really fast lately. Anyway. Not all relationships are meant to last forever. And also sometimes it's just a, t a learning lesson of, okay, I need to be with someone who's not superficial, right? It's also that just that kind of energy. Don't force it. Be your badass self. Be positive. Be optimistic. And like I said, Sag, I do feel that a lot of amazing opportunities are coming in for you or you're reaping the, um, you're enjoying the benefits, the rewards of your hard work, of things that you've been manifesting and the things that you did in authentic energy. And like I said, if you're not experiencing that and you're feeling like, you know, hey, when am I going to get mine? When am I going to get mine? Start to ask yourself if you've been authentic in your actions. Have you been, like, the way you set your intentions, is the energy behind those intentions pure? Or is it coming from ego? Hmm, good question to ask yourself. For some, I feel like you're feeling that ego. Like, is it, like, why did I really want that? Did I want that because it was going to make me happy, authentically happy? Or because it's something that someone told me I needed? right anyway sag so a lot of messages just from that one card that they showed me and i was like oh i guess that's all saggy really needs i guess that's all what saggy really needs so let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle here okay for those who are new to my channel new to tarot please know these messages are very general not all these messages are for everybody okay messages come through for those who need to hear them if it's not your message it's okay can't be for everybody um like i said it can be reversed or vice versa it is energy it's fluid it's not linear and because of that we all have masculine and feminine energy so get caught up on the gender of the cards okay we read energies we don't read gender this is for the first half of december but it can be for any other time anytime you're guided to watch it right uh time is not linear either okay i think that's everything if you have any other questions check out the link below for how to interpret tarot as a viewer it's very helpful helpful it's kind of like a little crash course one-on-one -on, -one on like things you should know especially if you're really new okay all right closing forward any messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for sagittarius sun moon rising venus and jupiter for the first half of december I'm also getting something about sight here, Sag, um, to help you see being in that positive, optimistic energy. Like I said, it sheds light. It sheds light on people and situations. It sheds, it shows the truth. It shows the truth. And I think that's also how a lot of you are going to um, continue on your path. You'll be able to see your path a lot clearer if you harness that kind of energy. Any messages for Sagittarius? Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. <laughs> I am hearing bottoms up. So maybe you're celebrating something, Sag, like your birthday <laughs> or some holiday here. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Oh, Sag, okay, I'm getting another message. I know these are really tough messages, and I'm sorry if I came off a little harsh. I don't mean to give tough love. I just was like, mm, I was like really feeling that when I was meditating on it. Um, Sag, if you are dealing with someone who is broken and you can't accept their brokenness, specifically friendship or romantic, um, you need to let them go. Someone could be feeling this way about you. This could pertain to someone in your life who needs to learn this. But not every, like, yeah, we're all in a different place. We all got our own shit. Healing never stops. It's true. Healing never stops. And sometimes we do have to 
adapt and change on our path, especially if it's like, you know, we're in relationships that we want to maintain. However, if you can't accept someone for who they are because of an issue they have or dysfunction they have or what have you, and you can't accept that, you can't change that part of them. They want, If they have to change for you, they got to do it on their own. They can't do it because you want them to or because you're making them do it. So just release them. It's not fair to them and it's not fair to you. Okay. I know. I feel like I'm being a hard ass right now. I don't mean to be. I don't mean to be. I really don't mean to be. It's just not fair. It's just not fair to ask someone to be something they're not or something that they're not capable of right now. It's just not fair to them. I just heard someone go, what about me? They're a human too. <laughs> they're a person too. Oh God. Two of Wands, Aries energy. This is choosing a path. Having options and choosing a path and going with it with, with everything. I'm hearing with everything. Oh, with everything. Being gung-ho about something. Sag, I feel like this is your energy. Making a decision and sticking to it and putting all of your effort into it. Into whatever your choice is. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love. Ooh, five of cups. Ooh. Okay. Sag, I, like I said, I feel like you're the one making a choice and you're sticking to it and you're putting all of your effort into that one choice. Someone is not happy about it. Someone's feeling left behind. Someone's feeling abandoned. Someone's feeling really upset. Really upset here. Someone's feeling really sad. You might even share in some of the sadness, but whoever's making this choice, it's like a full throttle. It's like, I can't regret this. I have to go I have to go forward and push forward with everything that I have and I can't look back. I cannot look back and the other person is someone who can't stop looking back. That could also be... um. Oh, that's interesting. This is an issue in someone's relationship where someone's very pessimistic and someone's very optimistic. Sag, I feel like you're the optimist here and you're you're always dealing with like a Debbie Downer. Okay, someone who's like, well, what? Well, this can happen and that can happen. Like maybe you have an idea to go and do something or create something and they just poo-poo it all the time. Yeah, that's definitely an issue for someone here. I feel like it's actually more than just one person. I feel like it's multiple people. Sag, yeah, it's like you're the optimist and they're the pessimist. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh, King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy, Kelsey, Fire, or Air. Oh, this one is not happy. I feel like this is someone who's hard to please. Whoever this is, Sag, I don't think it's you. I think it's someone you're connecting with. They're very hard to please. <sighs> very hard to please. They're a little high maintenance, too, is what I'm getting. That's actually kind of funny. They're kind of high maintenance. It does feel like a very masculine energy. Ooh, four of cups in reverse. I think this is the person you're leaving behind. Or your eternal pessimist here. Yeah, Kasaj, I feel strongly. You're making a choice and you're sticking to it. That's it. And that's very sad. You're sticking to it. You're not going to be budged. You're going to keep looking forward. You're going to keep putting effort into it because it's in your highest good. And it's what's best for you. And it feels very positive. And then you got someone over here, a Debbie Downer. High maintenance Debbie Downer. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of an eternal pe pessimist here who's feeling abandoned who's feeling abandoned and rejected maybe you rejected them for some of you i don't feel like you're actually leaving them behind i feel like you're just making a choice or investing in something yeah for some this is just an investment or maybe you're choosing a new career path and they're just really bummed about it like they just feel like they're not going to get as much attention that's for some of you that's for some of you Pleasing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. But some of you are actually leaving this person. And some you're just investing in something and they just feel like they're not getting as much attention. Let's see. Not taking those. Pleasing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius. Oh, we got three of cups. Cancerian energy. Like I said, I felt some party energy here. I feel like you're being celebrated, Sag. I really feel strongly you're being celebrated. And there's someone here who's like poo-pooing on shit. <laughs> what is this? They're poo-pooing on shit. Or you're having to leave them behind because they're always poo-pooing on shit. Yeah, you're getting... Oh, oh, Sag. We have Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. But then look at this. Wow. Isn't that freaking beautiful? The world with the sun. This is a blessing. Whatever this is, Sag, this is like, I'm getting rewards, to be honest with you. I'm getting rewards, new beginnings here. Some of you could be traveling. 
So you could be traveling, but not necessarily. This is beautiful energy. Ooh. I'm getting birthing vibes. I'm getting birthing pregnancy vibes with this. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm like, why am I getting birthing pregnancy vibes? That's what I'm getting. Honestly, God, that's what I'm getting. Like the mother with the child. I feel I feel empress energy with this. Empress energy and the sun can also be indica indicative of birth, specifically a boy. And to, don't mean to ruin anything. Sorry. Two of swords in reverse. Moon and Libra energy. Yeah, Saj, I really feel like you, you feel the need to not allow this person to get in your way anymore. You're choosing optimism, you're choosing positivity, you're choosing you, and you're going to be celebrated for it. And some of you are going to be celebrated publicly. For some, this could be fame. Honestly, this could be like public, major public recognition here. But Seven of Swords in reverse, this person has been causing a, a lot of problems for you and getting on your path here. And you're not going to allow for it anymore. You've made your decision. Okay, Sag. I like it. Take an action to be informed about it. Really like it. Let's go ahead and get into your actual reading here. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Saggy? Oh, how funny empress is on the bottom <laughs> so it's like i'm feeling empress vibes yeah guys if you don't want to be pregnant just be mindful of that just be mindful here all right so the first card out knight of swords in reverse gemini energy could also be air or fire i feel tensions building to an explosion with this to be honest with you tensions building to an explosion someone's been biting their tongue too much five of wands at the bottom yeah someone's been bi biting their tongue way too much there might be an explosive argument here sag be mindful of that The Emperor, who doesn't feel like they're getting enough attention. Six of Wands in reverse. Leo energy with the Emperor, which is Mars energy. Also Taurus for me as a reader. Yeah, whatever this biting of the tongue is, someone wants more attention. Someone's feeling a little needy, okay? Someone feels a little ignored here. An Emperor is feeling ignored. Emperor could be um, a father figure, a patriarchal figure. It could be someone who is also an entrepreneur, a business owner, or someone who has a lot of power, a lot of rank, like a judge or a lawyer, someone of that nature. They're not feeling tended to, okay? Feel a little high and mighty up there on his throne of loneliness. <laughs> Could be a female. Any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? I am feeling this person's an old soul, though. I am feeling that. This person's an old soul that just came in really strong. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of December? Oh boy, now we have a Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. I feel like this Emperor is wanting to reach out here, but they're reluctant because they want attention. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Whoever this is, they want people to come to them. Like, come to me, come to me, come to me. But because that's not happening, and I feel like Saj is just in relation to you, uh, or it could be other people, but I feel like it's mostly you. But because that's not happening, they're like, do I have to reach out? Maybe, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. It's funny. Overall energy, we do have Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Wow. Eight of Wands in reverse. Shit. Eight of Swords in reverse. Three eights. Very auspicious. Eight, eight, eight. You guys might be seeing that lately or in the first half of December. Keep an eye out for that. Like I said, it's very auspicious energy. It's like it's blessings. Okay. It's blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings. Secure security abundance prosperity as well um eights are always like a very ceo vibration for me personally uh but god this is this is kind of yucky though this is someone who, who's really stuck and can't get over something really really stuck can't get over something not moving not moving i feel like this is the emperor's energy underneath all that we do have the queen of swords libra energy could also be air or water here it's in relation to a queen i feel like it's in relation to you sag yeah, it's in relation to you. I feel like there's a lot of tension between you and this person. 
a lot of tension. This emperor feels stuck. They're feeling lonely. They want more more of you. They want more of your attention. And I feel like you're you're out and about. I feel like you're on your beauty way. <laughs> seeing the good in all things, seeing the good in life, enjoying life for what it is and what it has to offer you. And that's only giving you more. Because you're in that positive energy, and again, for those who aren't, you need to start harnessing that for your own benefit. Um, being in that positive energy invites more of it back. And so as you're just enjoying your day to day, you're finding more things are coming into your life, more beautiful things are coming into your life. There is an energy of bitterness, though. Energy of bitterness and irritation between the two of you. Most definitely. And I feel an energy of judgment. Yeah, judgment and bitterness between the two of you. I feel like there's been a lot unsaid. Like I said, there's a lot of like biting of the tongue. So let's go ahead and look at that. Mm, actually, I haven't done right or wait. Let's do right or wait. Come the Knight of Swords in reverse. Come the Knight of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of December. So the Knight of Swords in reverse. So the Knight of Swords in reverse. Sag, I gotta be honest. <laughs> I gotta say what I'm getting here. So this person wants you to come to them. Doesn't seem like you're budging. Okay, seems like you're doing your own thing. Um, and you're just sort of seeing a lot of beautiful things come into your life and you're having a lot of good news come your way. And in the back of your head, it's kind of like, if they really want me, they'll come and get me. If they really want to talk about shit, they're going to talk about shit. So you both are kind of doing this whole pulling on each other thing, which is creating a little bit of tug of war. All right, so just be mindful of that. So I'm not a swords in reverse. I feel like the emperor's gonna give though. I feel like the emperor might give soon. So I'm not a swords in reverse. For Sagittarius. Wow, Sag. I know this is a tight-lipped energy, but come on, talk. <laughs> uh. Let's see here. World in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Five of Swords in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. <sighs> Sorry, this is kind of cute. So what's not being said is that someone doesn't want things to change. Someone doesn't want things to change. Someone also wants there to be no more uh, pulling on each other. No more of this tug of war, if I have a sword to the in reverse. Like no more tug of war, no more games, no more not talking, no more not being fully honest here. Let's just reveal everything of not, en not, not ending this, not closing this out. Let's keep things open. Let's keep things flowing. Let's get things flowing again. That's what someone wants to say, but they're not saying it. Might even be both of you. Seven out of swords in reverse. Seven out of swords in reverse. Seven out of swords in reverse. Wow, that's it. Over energy. Ace of swords. That's the truth. That's just the truth. The truth. Yeah, that's what this is. Basically, someone's holding back uh, communication and saying they just want to say that they don't want things to 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 be over. They don't want things to stay stagnant. They want some flow again. They want some honesty, some honest communication, showing of emotion. I feel like the emotional taps have been closed off between the two of you as well. Um, it just it doesn't feel very good. It doesn't feel very good. It feels very cold. Um, no more mind games. No more tug of war. Can we just be honest? Can we just be honest? Let's look at the high priestess in reverse. Let me use Lenormand deck for this one. Uh, oop, almost forgot a couple cards. Talk about High Priestess in reverse. This is the truth that's begging to come out here. Talk about the High Priestess in reverse. Magnifying glass. So some deep ass truth. 44, a master number. The details. The full truth. Ooh. Feminine energy, 29 breaking down to 11 with the Ace of Swords, the truth. Time at High Priestess in reverse. We have the Compass, 42 breaking down to a 6. 
the correct direction, where this feminine energy needs to go, where this feminine energy belongs. That's the subject matter, where this feminine energy belongs. That's what needs to be discussed. Some of the high priestess in reverse, and there's the communication with the birds, 12, breaking down to a three. Some of the high priestess in reverse. That's it. Underneath that, we do have the moon here with the eight of cups. So leaving something behind to go towards something else. 32, bring it down to five. Change at the midst of this. The moon is about emotions. It could also be about work. Yeah, Sag, I really feel strongly this is about you and heading into the direction that you need to go in, whether it's just work related or something that is emotionally more um, more akin to you, something that matches your vibration, your true direction. That needs to be discussed like now, okay? Now it needs to be discussed. This emperor wants you with them. And you're looking elsewhere. It doesn't mean you can't take the emperor with you, but it needs to be discussed. It needs to be discussed. Okay. Let's take a look at this emperor who's wanting from who's wanting more attention. Let's take a look at this emperor. We'll do cosmic. Not the emperor. Tell me about the emperor. Tell the Emperor for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of December. Tell with the Emperor. Yeah, Sag, I feel like some of you might be pleasantly surprised here, okay? If you just talk to this Emperor about where you truly want to be, whether it's a new city, a new country, a new job, a new environment, whatever it is, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that maybe this emperor might work with you a little bit here. But the fact that it's not being discussed, it's causing all of this awful stagnation between the two of you. And it's making this person miss you and want your attention. Feeling like they can't take action towards you. And maybe they're doing that out of ego a little bit. But you're also kind of out of ego expecting them to reach out to you. You know, so just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Now, if you want to be with another person, that's a different story, right? <laughs> that's a whole other. That's a whole other thing. That's a whole other conversation here. Um, if you want to be with someone else, yeah, that is a hard conversation to have, but a conversation needs to be had nonetheless. Talk about this emperor. Talk about this emperor for Sagittarius. Four of Swords, Libra energy. They're trying to make sense of the situation. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. They might be throwing themselves into work though, in order to do it. Um, it's also this also could be a work retreat. That's interesting. Or a business trip. A business trip. Why am I getting that so strongly? Um, this emperor might have to travel for business, or you might have to travel for business, and it's causing more insecurity between the two of you, more uncertainty between the two of you. And they're trying to. I feel like they're also questioning what you're doing a lot, like. Where are your efforts going? Like, what are you doing, Sag? Like, where are you putting your time and your energy? Because it's not coming to me. Oh, I felt accusatory. <laughs> Tell me more about this emperor. Tell me more about this emperor. Oh, yeah. Seven of Wands in reverse. Leo energy. I'm feeling a sense of lacking control. Lacking control, like how can I how can I fight for something I don't have any control over? They feel like you're untamable, Sag, and you are Sag. You are a Sagittarius. They don't like that. They don't really like that. Tell me about uh, the Emperor. Oh yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse with Strength in reverse. Holy shit, and Judgment in reverse. I, oh my God, <clears throat> this is all their overall energy here. Ten of Cups in reverse, Pisces, Strength, Leo, Judgment's Fire, also Scorpio, and Justice is Libra. They could be a Libra Scorp Cusper, or someone could be, not necessarily here. But yeah, they're feeling like this is a major injustice. <clears throat> they're lacking confidence because they don't feel like they have any control in the situation, and they're really unhappy. Really unhappy. They feel like they can't even fight for this because they don't have control over you or the situation. And I don't really like that energy. I don't love it. It really doesn't feel that good. I really don't like it here. Um, and they're questioning where you're putting your efforts. Yeah, it doesn't feel very awesome. They feel really, they feel really alone, Sag. They feel really, really alone here. 
And yeah, they just feel like the situation they're finding themselves in in relation to you ooh, is really unfair. Really, really unfair. With these three cards here, outside of strength, it could also indicate the falling apart of a home situation in a legal sense, like a divorce or a separation. Doesn't have to be, but if you know you're going through that, the cards are here indicating that. But yes, yeah, Sag, like whatever you're doing, you're choosing your path and you're choosing you, but there needs to have there needs to be a conversation between you and this emperor so that both of you can get on the same page and just decide what to do from here on out. Whether you're doing this together and you're supporting each other in the changes that are happening between the two of you, or you're gonna go your separate ways. A conversation and decision needs to be made now. And that's a decision needs to be made. That's just the truth of it. Sag, as the Queen of Swords, you already know the truth. You just haven't had that conversation. And it might be a hard conversation to have, but it needs to be had, right? So let's look at the Knight of Pentacles, and then we'll pull some Oracle cards. Mm, what's over here? Let's do Steampunk. Okay. Talk about the Knight of Pentacles. Talk about the Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Regarding love for the first half of December. Some of the Knight of Pentacles. Some of the Knight of Pentacles. Some of the Knight of Pentacles. Five of the Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Now keep in mind, Sag, this could be between you and a boss. Doesn't have to be romantic interest, but it does feel like it is. It does feel like it is. It does feel like it is between you and a romantic interest. Strength, taking control of the situation. Yeah, I feel like this emperor is going to take action because they're tired of feeling powerless in the situation. They're tired of feeling like they don't have all the answers. They're tired of feeling left in the dark and left alone. Honestly, they're tired of questioning everything. Time of the Knight of Pentacles. because you're not talking to them. Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or fire because either you're not talking or you're just not being fully honest with what you really want, Sag, what the direction is that you really want to take with your life now with or without them. Some of you, this is just a career move and you just got to tell your, your partner about it. You just got to talk it out with this person, you know? Some of you, it's just as simple as that. So I have the Knight of Pentacles. Time of the Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Yeah, Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. They want to release the tension here and they want to release the confusion. Time about Knight of Pentacles. Time about the Knight of Pentacles. They just want movement again between the two of you. They want energy flow. They don't want any stagnation. Ooh, but overall, we do have a Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy here. A uh, Knight of Cups in reverse is a disappointing energy. It's not getting what you want. It's feeling... Um, Really feeling down and out could also be overindulgence, but I feel like it's feeling really disappointed and feeling like um, not feeling this emperor is not feeling very happy. They're not feeling happy. They're feeling really upset. They're feeling really disappointed. But yeah, they're going to come your way, Sag. They're going to take control of the situation because they want the truth. They want the truth. It's going to be up to you to talk to them, though. It's going to be up to you to actually give it to them. Because they want to be released from this shit. This is what's between the two of you. Hold on. Where's all my cards? Where are all my cards? This is what's between the two of you. That's pretty awful, I'd have to say. Okay? That needs to be released. Which I think is only fair. Now keep in mind, Saj, this could be vice versa, or this could be pertaining to someone that you know in your life or in your inner circle. But this person's really sad. For some, they're even borderline depressed. And... It's just fair to talk. You just got to talk. Just got to talk, right? So let's go ahead and pull some Oracle cards. Let's do the Spirit Animal deck. Any advice for Sagittarius? Any advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? 
Any advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Oh, that's too many, Spirit. That's too many. <laughs> okay. I feel like sometimes Spirit talks back to me with the cards, honestly. So we have Coyote Spirit here, Trust and Divine Detours, 16 breaking down to a 7. Your direction's changing, Sag. You already know it. You already know it. You already know it. Your direction's changing. You didn't expect it. You either didn't expect an opportunity to open up or you didn't expect to feel this way. Either way, it's unexpected, but it's putting you in the right place. Think, the, think about that card, Beauty Way. It's the authentic direction. It's the authentic choice. It makes you feel like you're really in your own energy and you're living for you. And that's really important to have, right? Any other advice for Sagittarius? regarding this spread any other advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread and I think a lot of you do feel this Emperor is hindering you in some way shape or form again it can be vice versa any other advice for Sagittarius and also it could be a female it doesn't have to be a man Wow, dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. 18, bring it down to a nine. I think we, we had both of these cards for um for Aries. And you could be dealing with an Aries. Emperor is Aries energy. But this is really interesting. I'm hearing being tactful, actually, with this, Sag. Like, if you're going to do it, do it the right way and do it honestly. Do it honestly. I'm not trying to judge. I'm just the messenger. Just the messenger. Mmm. Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. Why is this not focusing? 41, break it down to a five. So there's a lot of change going on in this situation, Sag, because like I said, you're changing directions. You're choosing your authentic path because you can see the authentic path now, okay? And you're doing it with love. That's a that's what the whole Card of Beauty way is about. Standing in an energy of optimism, positivity, and love and compassion. And in doing so, you can see shit clearly and you're also allowing other people to see things clearly, right? Living in authenticity. There's also indicative of a significant love interest being involved in this, and I do feel like that's the emperor for a lot of you, but you're going to where your heart's calling you to be, and that's not a bad thing. You just have to talk about it. Just gotta talk about it. Any other advice? Yeah. Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? So you got one other card out here. Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. 23 breaking down to 5. Like I said, it's a new direction and it was unexpected. The fact that Coyote's out here with the eagle, whatever this, the way you came into understanding this unexpected path, whether it was an opportunity that was given to you by somebody else, or it's just something that you woke up and realized, oh shit, I'm not being in my authentic self. I need to do this. That's what's going to make me happy. Spirit's really helping you in this. They're really here with you. They're supporting you because they want you to be on your path. They want you to be happy. Okay, so even if you feel like you're doing something wrong, which I think is partly why you're not telling this person everything or you're not having that sit down conversation of, hey, things are changing. Here's what we got to do in accordance to that. But you have divine support here. You do. The divine's on your side. Everything's going to be okay as you go through this change. You have two fives here, by the way. Might be a tower moment involved in some of this for you. Overall, Horse spirit, freedom is yours, energy of 33. This is perfect for you, Sag. Look, it's Sag. It is Sag. It is the horse that is so freaking you. You're going to be free because you're going to be living in your authentic energy, living your true life, your true path in an optimistic, beautiful, loving, beautiful way. Quite literally, the beauty way. Okay? That's your, that's your energy. That's your nature. And you don't have to apologize for it, but you do need to have an honest conversation. You do need to have those hard conversations here, okay? It's it's really, really important so you can go about your path fully honestly and unapologetically because that is how you want to do it. That is who you are, okay? So Saj, overall, I think this is a beautiful reading. Sometimes we got to have the, do this hard shit. Sometimes we have to, and that's okay. But you're heading to a beautiful place. 
and that is awesome, right? So don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and check that out. And thank you guys so much for coming out for those in the premiere, by the way. I forgot to say that in the Aries reading. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a really great night and a really great birthday, okay? Namaste.